Welcome back to my channel. It's finally fall in New York. I'm finally home and it's big comfy sweater weather and it makes me really happy. Today, I am going to share with you low impact exercises that have changed my life. Um, the reason is because they help work through more than just what's going on with you physically. So I am a very athletic person. I've been in sport my entire life, but my body has also been really angry and upset at me. And I at first thought it was like a sports injury problem, but getting into deep, like basically unraveling everything I've unraveled and I'm still kind of like figuring it all out. I basically have an autoimmune disease. That means like your body's immune system is basically attacking itself. Uh, it causes me to have a lot of muscle pain. It's caused depression, anxiety, you know, like I don't know if it's caused all these things, but they're all like sort of symptoms linked together. So the reason I wanted to do this post is because low impact exercise has changed my life. I've gone from doing like gymnastics to weightlifting to running to doing a bunch of things that like, honestly, a lot of male, I've followed a lot of men in my life because I've looked up to them more, especially when I was younger. And they're like, the man's way is to do everything like really tough and really hard and like, work through your problems and like just lift weights and then like just just like stick a ball inside of your shoulder so your mobility gets better and it's like okay that's not really for me and I tried all of it but it doesn't really make things better for my condition personally so I'm gonna tell you about low impact exercise and why it's been really great for me and hopefully it'll be great for you especially if you have uh, body issues so a lot of other things that go along with what I have are like low self-esteem, low self-confidence, depression like I already mentioned, um, fatigue, like chronic fatigue, uh, feeling tired for no reason and then not being able to sleep, uh, so insomnia, and I'm going to tell you all of these exercises have helped me kind of break out of those and that's why I really like them, why they have like a really strong place for me in my heart. The first one is dance. So dance, um, I was introduced to dance in middle school and I didn't really start dancing competitively until high school, but dance changed my life. One, because it gave me a group of girlfriends that made me feel comfortable. It was the first time in my life where I felt like I had a family. Also dance and movement really make you break like your own barriers. Plus it's good exercise. It's difficult, it makes you flexible, you have to be strong in order to dance, but strong in ways that don't require like lifting weights. It's more of like being like strong in your core and flexible and controlled in a, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it quite yet. But anyways, dance changed my life, it really brought me out of my shell, it made me start embracing, it's playful. You get to like be yourself sort of when you dance, even though you're doing, maybe doing a routine, you get to add like your own flavor and your own style to it and you get to kind of figure out who you are through dance. There are many different types of dance, um, you don't have to really do competitive dance, but I would say like even Zumba, or doing a dance class at the gym. I go to Equinox and Equinox has like a bunch of different styles of dance class with different instructors. So they have this thing called Nia, which is like a free flowing movement. They have dance classes where you like learn, it's like Zumba, but it's not Latin inspired. It's basically like the teacher just makes a dance and you do it to like different music the entire time. Basically, just go, go out and find your dance teacher, find your dance style. There's Bollywood, there's, you know, tap dancing. I've never done tap dancing, but there's so many different styles of dance. I would say go to your gym and just see what kind of dance classes they offer because usually those will be like the easiest to kind of get you into the groove of things. The other thing that has kind of changed my life is Pilates. So Pilates really focuses on core strength, which really helps uh, with posture, it helps with alignment, it helps you recognize like what's going on in your body. Especially if you get a really good Pilates teacher, they're psycho, they're psychotic about your posture. Basically there's a concaved like 
bow, there's a neutral spine, and then there's like an arch spine. Uh, just doing those different movements with like your legs or your arms, it could be really difficult, especially if you haven't used all those little muscles. Um, the other thing I like, reason why I like Pilates is because it goes really slow. It goes slow enough where you can really focus on what you're doing and make sure, make sure you are doing the correct movement. So even when you go, if you wanna do weightlifting, usually it's better to start off with a lower weight and do the movement, <laughs> movement correctly rather than go up in weight and do it incorrectly because that's how you get injured. Well, in Pilates, you don't really have to worry about that. There are different weights and there are different settings and there are different, there are ways to make it more difficult, kind of like in yoga, which I'll talk about next, but you can just stay at your own pace and do your own thing and make sure that you are doing the movement correctly. So to me, it's like really mind calming. It's a really good workout. Like you'll feel your muscles sore. It doesn't feel like you're doing anything because you're like laying down the whole entire time, but it is like a really, really great exercise. Uh, something that's really funny is like one time I was in Pilates and it was with an instructor that didn't really... I didn't really know or didn't know me very well and I was up in the front row and she was like oh yeah like we were doing core she was like oh yeah like you keep doing this and your tummy's gonna get really flat <laughs> and I was like girl if you think these exercises are gonna make my tummy flat then you don't know what you're talking to I would say, well, basically I say that because like my body type isn't like the type that's going to get flat. Like my body is just the way that it is <laughs> and I don't have a flat stomach. That's what I meant by that. Other people may be able to find flatness in their tummies from doing Pilates, but not this girl. Anyways, it's a great exercise. Okay, I'm going to move on to yoga. Yoga is really, oh man. Yoga has changed my life. Um, I, the Springs in downtown LA was hosting a 30 day yoga challenge. It was basically like $100 and you, whoever went to more the most classes won. I was one of the people who won because when I started doing yoga, it really changed my life. It opened me up to new possibilities. It made me think about things. So it's like mental and physical. Uh, yoga really focuses on the breath, so does Pilates, and actually so does dance. You'll see that in every single exercise, and every single sport, breath is one of the most important things. If you want to concentrate on breath, yoga is a really good place like to do that. Yoga is hard, especially if you haven't done yoga. So I would recommend maybe if you're new to it, go to yin class, go to restorative class. I love the warm, hot, like yummy cozy classes that go really slow. I'm not like a power yoga person. I don't like doing vinyasas. They kind of annoy me. Um, but the great thing about yoga is like you don't have to worry. You really don't have to worry about anybody else in the room. You just worry about yourself and you do whatever you want basically. Yoga is really great for stretching and it's really great to find out your limits and your boundaries and um, to see what's going on in your head. Like if you go, if you practice yoga every day, which I don't, but I do work out every day, you kind of see on the days, you start to learn what's going on with you on certain days. Like on Tuesday, I was really in my head. I was really, really in my head about something and I went to dance class and I basically danced it out. After dance class, I felt so relaxed, so at peace that I was no longer in my head. So getting into the body, whether you do that with yoga or um, dance or Pilates and getting out of your head or getting out of wherever else you are, especially doing it in these like in these really calm ways is really, really good. Plus it like adds, I don't know, yoga is strengthening its flexibility, its mind, its body. So it's like integrated. Um, the other thing that has changed my life is walking. Um, walking helps speed up digestion. It is gr a great meditation. Like sometimes I'll just go on the treadmill and like walk for 30 minutes, especially if like the weather is gross outside either too cold or too warm or whatever. But walking is just like really good. I don't know, it's it's like a peace, it's like a peaceful thing for me. Uh, walk to the park, walk outside. I also don't, I feel like I don't walk enough, but try out walking. Like if you don't wanna do yoga, if you don't wanna go to the gym, if you don't wanna dance, like just move some way and somehow. What I always used to say to myself 
Um, like people ask me like what keeps you moving because my body is literally in pain all the time Sometimes I can't move sometimes I can't get out of bed like earlier this year. I had a really bad week I was in bed for one whole week and you know like my housemate was like you have the flu and I was like I know it seems like I have the flu But I don't have the flu like I don't think she had ever experienced anybody's body or system like mine before and I was like, I know what it's like to have the flu, and I know what it's like to have what I have right now, and I just can't move. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there are certain days you can't move. But on the days that you can move, like, just get out and go for a walk, even if it's down the street, because, like, getting outside, getting some fresh air, moving your body will all get things moving in your body. It helps with endorphins and serotonin it helps with digestion which is like people who have what i have have difficulty with serotonin obviously because of the depression and with digestion and walking just helps with all of that plus like it's also just getting out of your head and into your body like when you move you work through things that are going on in your head but you do it while like your body's moving i don't know how to explain it. it's just like a movement thing um, so walking is huge. Anyways, I think those are, um, those for me are my, four of my best, uh, of all of the years and all of the sport and all the activities that I've done. Those are my favorite low impact, uh, body friendly exercises. They do a lot more for me than just exercise my body. Uh, they have changed my life. And also they relax, like... After yoga, I feel relaxed. I can go to sleep. After dancing some stuff out, I feel relaxed. I can go on with my day. So anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to hear more about what you guys do to relax. Um, if anybody has the same like conditions or same symptoms as me, I'm super into relaxation. I, in my younger years, I used to go really hard because I was like, no, I can't relax. I need to go do like kill myself. Based, not like literally, but like kill myself working out or kill myself uh, working. <laughs> um, and now I'm just like, no, we need to calm down. Let's relax. Because my body and my tenseness and my autoimmune and my immunity is like on fire all the time. And so I need to retrain it to relax. And that's like kind of what I do now. Um, but it took me a while to figure that out. So if you're on the road to figuring that out, it's relaxation. Relaxation that will help. Anything Anything you can do that relaxes you, do it. Anybody who is causing you stress or not supportive or, um, you know, giving you a hard time, you need to, like, kind of let that stuff go. Cut that out of your life. If you feel like your defense system goes up around somebody, you need to get rid of that person for a little while. I'm not saying forever. I'm just saying for long enough so that you retrain your body so it's calm and then you can bring that person in maybe to test where you're at <laughs> but anyways um please leave your comments questions below i love to hear from you guys and i hope this uh video helped please stay tuned for more from posh inc and uh, tiff tv that's what i call these little segments don't forget about the podcast posh incredible transformations you can find that on itunes and don't forget to ring the little bell so you get notified when we post new content. Thanks guys, see you later.